What's up everyone, Mariah here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering 40 questions about my salt water fast. And so I want to go and make a clarification. So you've been seeing my videos uploaded daily and I know that some people saw like my day 40 photos side by side on some Facebook fasting groups. I just wanted to make it clear that my videos here on YouTube are delayed by five days. And I did that because I wanted to be able to post consistently. And so uh, just in case I was traveling or had people in town visiting, um, I basically upload the videos and schedule them five days in advance so that I do not miss a day. So now back to the questions. Number one, what are you eating during your fast? I am not eating. It's called a water fast for a reason. I have answered this hundreds of times by at this point. Number two, how do you deal with hunger? I have not experienced hunger and I attest that to being very fat adapted before starting my fast, which means doing a ketogenic diet and eating once a day. All my calories in once a day is what I was doing. Number three, how many refeeds did you have during this fast? I did not eat. Got it? No food. What did you drink during your fast? I follow the snake juice diet, two liters of water, one teaspoon of no salt, you can find that at Walmart, it's just potassium, half a teaspoon of pink salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of Epsom, Epsom, Epsom salt, food grade, don't forget food grade. He just posted another video of the most recent one and so you can play around with salt and see what's up, but let me tell you what, you stop drinking the salt, you feel like poop. Number five, did you drink your urine? Cole Robinson does that. I definitely did not drink my urine. How'd you pass the time? I spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos about fasting, which kept me motivated about fasting, which kept me learning about fasting. And sorry about the noise in the background, there's a bunch of construction going on in my building. So yeah, I just watched a lot of videos, informed myself during the process, and learned a lot about all the health benefits, and that definitely kept me going along the way. Number seven, how did you have enough willpower? Because I was tired of being a fat ass who couldn't run anymore at the age of 25. I thought that was pretty pathetic. That's how I had enough willpower. And visualizing, you visualize what you're gonna look like. You're gonna look like a million bucks, you're gonna feel like a million bucks, you're gonna do all the things in life that you couldn't do before. How will you break your fast? Bone broth, I will be drinking bone broth, soft vegetables, eggs, avocados vegetables, slowly reintroduce meat. Okay, I got mixed up here on the questions. Number eight was, did you exercise? Very, very minimally. I would do like two five mile walks a week, a little bit of weightlifting. I would stretch a lot, nothing serious. And then number nine was the breaking of the fast. I already answered that. Number 10, will you help me? I'm sorry, but I can't help everyone. You're gonna have to watch my YouTube videos or reach out for some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Number 11, is this healthy? I wouldn't have done this if it wasn't healthy. Yes, there's a ton of benefits. I prevented cancer, Alzheimer's, lots of diseases, okay? There, uh, it improves your brain function. There's a ton of, ton of health benefits. I'm not going to list them all here. How did you stay motivated? Stepping on the scale every day, you're like, damn, it's about time I'm not a cow anymore. <sighs> How'd you deal with headaches, nausea, and dizziness? I experienced no nausea, okay, to minimize headaches. I only got headaches like the first three days. I stopped caffeine before my fast. Dizziness, if you're dizzy, you're not drinking enough salts. Number 14, what would you say was the hardest when starting your fast? Um, I was not smart about like planning out and doing things, and it felt like I was watching paint dry on the wall for like the first week. I needed to just schedule more things and like have a plan so that time didn't feel like it was moving so slowly. How long did you research fasting before deciding to start your own fast? And what did you do to prepare? Did you use smaller fasts before doing this one? I researched for probably about a few weeks. Keto led me to fasting. What do I do to prepare? I got fat adapted. I followed a ketogenic diet. I quit sugar, I quit caffeine, I quit alcohol. I went to OMAD one meal a day. I got very, very fat adapted. With OMAD, I was not hungry anymore, and that's why I wanted to do my fast. I did a 36-hour fast and a 78-hour fast prior to doing this long fast. You take vitamins during your fast. No, most vitamins are garbage. Their ingredients are garbage, especially if they have soy. Don't get those. Can you show us how you journal for your goals? 
It's really simple. One, I write down the date. Two, I write down three things that I'm grateful for. Three, I write down what I'm gonna do that day to make it great. Um, I write down affirmations, and then I also write down things that I'm grateful for that I want that I do not yet have. That is a key. Again, writing down things that I am grateful for that I do not yet have. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. Number 19, how much weight have you lost? I've lost like 37 pounds in 42 days. How do you deal with boredom while fasting? Find something to do, like learn a new language, do something like that. Be social. Being social is helpful. The time goes by fast. Number 21, how do you deal with food cravings and fasting? You don't get food cravings because you're fat adapted and you really haven't had carbs in a long time. Food cravings are stem from sugar and carbs. They will screw your life up forever. If you ever wonder why you're hungry and you're always hungry no matter how much you eat, it's probably because you're having way too many carbs. That was my problem at least. What's your plan to keep off the weight? I'm gonna go back to my one meal a day, go back to my keto diet. I am going to exercise and get really strong. I want to run a marathon. Did you consult the doctor? No, I did not consult a local drug dealing doctor. I don't believe in doctors. They've never helped me. They've just wasted my time. I hate the medical system. Finding a doctor that will just give me a little check mark to go get like my blood work done is so difficult. I can't even imagine what it'd be like to find a doctor that would support fasting. Can you drink coffee? Sorry, to go back to the doctor thing, there's plenty of doctors online that support fasting. Look into what they're talking about. Did you drink coffee? No, I wanted this to be a full detox. Did you gain mental clarity? Yes, my brain is working better than it's ever worked in my entire life. What kind of water did you use? I ran my water through a pure filter and an aqua gear filter. I'm not saying that's the best, but that was the easiest thing for me. What if I'm taking medication? I'm sorry, I don't know. I do not take medication, but I had a friend who fasted for like short periods of time and she would take like 100 calories of fat, I'm assuming coconut oil, when she would take her pills. How much will you gain back? I don't know, it all depends on if I go back to eating like a pig again. If I'm eating carnivore, keto, exercising, eating once a day, throwing in a 48 fast once a week, I probably won't gain it back. You stub your ass on the scale every day and that's when you know if you need to make a change. What was your energy like? Hi, 42, do I look like I'm dying yet? Nope, still alive. What was your strength like? Well, I didn't work out that much so I am not as strong as I've been. I will feel my most confident when I'm back in the gym weightlifting and as strong as I was because I was a fatty before but I was damn straight strong as hell. How did you work during this time? I worked from home, it was easy, I do live alone. I don't have a family, I don't have to cook for people so that made it a lot easier. Do you feel healthier? Hell yeah I feel healthier, oh my gosh, inflammation? You don't really know what it feels like till it's actually gone. Does your body start hoarding and storing everything as fat to pair for the next fast? Well, let's see here. First you burn dietary fat, and then you burn your stored fat. So, I hope that answers your freaking question. People like, I think are wanting me to get fat again. Will you develop an eating disorder? I don't know, probably not, because I am more educated now than I've ever been before, and fasting is a tool. It is a tool, okay? I am still 148 pounds, and I'm 5'5". Five five. I could be down at 125 and still considered healthy. Serious question. When does it stop being fasting and start being not eating? When there's no more fat left on my body. I'd show you my fat stomach, but I'm running out of battery. How did this affect your period? I had my period like a few days into my um, fast. Now I'm like six or seven days late, and I'm not worried about it because I've been six or seven days. I've been two weeks late before. I travel a lot. I'm always doing different physical activities. My life is not consistent. I don't really care about my period. I don't want to have children anytime soon. Did you empty your house to avoid temptations? No, I still have food in the fridge. 38, did you skip all social events? Yes, in the beginning, and that was a mistake. I started going out to dinner with people eventually, and I actually enjoyed watching people eat, and I enjoyed watching them um, get their food and enjoy it themselves and smell it. Did you get a spray tan? No, I live in freaking Puerto Rico and I like vitamin D because it's good for you. Get out in the sun. And number 40, how is your metabolism after this? Increased or decreased? If you want to decrease your metabolism, then calorie restrict. Jason Fung will tell you all about it. And I'm sorry, I kept on looking over here because my battery's gonna die, but I gotta go. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope that answered your questions. And go out there and create a life you love.